this is the data we are going to enter into SPSS. So we have male, female, distance, and time. Remember, it's distance walked when shopping and time spent when shopping. So we have male and female. Those are two variables there. We have distance and we have time. Those are two other variables. So for this question, we have three variables that we'll consider when entering data into SPSS. So let's consider the first function or the first step which is to enter data into SPSS. I'm using IBM SPSS version 26, but all versions will generally perform the same way. The first thing you notice when you open SPSS are two windows, the welcome window, and we can see the data window at the background. So in the welcome window, we come to new data set, press open, and we have our data, our input or data set window, at the background there, you will see our output window, which is where all our statistical analysis, when we perform statistical analysis, this is where every analysis will be displayed. So we have the data set window, where we enter our data and variables, and the output window, where the output of our statistical analysis is displayed. So let's get back to the data set window. On the data set window, we have the data view where the data is displayed and the variable view where you have to first enter your variables before they are displayed as data. So click on this section. Let's click on this variable view section and fill the different variables in our example. So going back to our example, the different variables are male and female. That's the first variable. So for male and female variables, they are known as gender. So we have gender. This type of variable is numeric. I'll show you how we'll change this variable into numeric. There are different types of variables. We have numeric, comma, dot, scientific notation, date, dollar, custom, string. String represents words and restricted numeric variables. So the one that we normally use most is numeric variables and string variables. So for numbers and words. So for my case, gender is a numeric variable and I'll show you why gender is a numeric variable because I'll use certain codes to represent each gender. Decimals, zero decimals because our variable will not have any decimal places. You cannot have a 1.1 male or a 2.2 female. So label here, we write male or female shoppers values. We are going to enter some values to code our gender, either male or female. So for male, one, we code the gender male with one. So one is equals to, or one represents male. Let's add. Two represents female. So one represents male and two is equals to or represents female. So. Why did we code our gender with numbers instead of leaving it as male and female? It's always good or right to use numeric variables when working with SPSS, especially as a beginner. Let's go back to measure. Measure, we, you can either be male or female. You cannot be 3.5% male or 3.6% or nearly male or nearly female. You are either male or female. So that's a nominal measure either this or that nominal let's go to our second variable our second variable is distance distance is a variable so we enter distance it's numeric variable we have width distance has decimal places if we look at our data there there are two decimal places because you can see 0 0.16 in miles for distance we will leave two decimals Ignore the wind, which is the area that the data will occupy on the data view section. Decimals, we have two because the data has two decimal places. Label, we have distance traveled in miles when shopping. It's important to have very detailed labels. It's a good habit, actually, to have very detailed labels in SPSS because SPSS uses your labels to make sense of the data. That's the label for that variable. Values will have none because we will represent those 
values directly. Columns, leave that. Align, we ignore that. Let's go to the measure. Distance. The measure of distance is scale. Why? Because there is a real zero. Like someone can, someone can travel zero miles. Like they do not move at all. So that's a scale variable. The next variable in our question, which is time, it's a numeric variable, wind, eight, decimals. We do not have any decimals on time. If you go back and look at our data, we do not have any decimal places in our time. So decimals is zero. Let's give this, this variable a label, time spent when shopping. That's the label for that variable. Again, values, none. Missing none, columns, align, those ones we ignore for now. Let's go to time. Time also is a scale variable. Someone can use no time or someone cannot be engaged in an activity and therefore their time can be entered as zero. So time is a scale variable because it has a real zero. We have entered our variables. The next step in entering data into SPSS is going to the data view and now entering the data directly using our codes for gender remember we use one for male and two for female then we enter our distance and our time we can start with male how many males do we have we have five male respondents and we have five female respondents so for male we said the code is one so one when i put the value of one on our data view it represents male one 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 Two, 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 to represent 10 participants in the study. Now, we can toggle, if you come here, you can see this, this button called value labels. If you click on it, the codes will turn into the labels that they represent. So we have one and two as the codes for male and female. We toggle with that, we will see male and female as the main labels for that data coded as one and two so what's next the next thing is to fill our data so let's start with the distance for male so we have 0 0.16 then we have 0 0.40 then we have 1.36 then we have 1.99 then we have 3.61 it starts with 1.40 goes to 1.81 goes to 1.96 goes to 3.0 zero two and goes to four point eight two that's the distance let's enter the time we start with male 15 30 37 65 103 we go to female 22 140 160 183 245 so that's how we enter our data into SPSS. If you click values label here, you can toggle the data into either one for the code for the data and labels for the data. So we have gender, different variables, gender, distance, time. Remember when entering data into SPSS, the columns represent the variables, columns, 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 gender, distance, time, while the rows represent the individual entities involved in a given study. So we have 10 people who are involved in the study to calculate the time and distance utilized when shopping. So 10 participants. So each row will represent a single participant. Are you getting value from this video? Help another person like you get the same value by liking and subscribing to this channel. So the next step is to perform descriptive statistics in SPSS. How do we perform descriptive statistics in SPSS? We can use this button here, run descriptive statistics, or we can click on our variables and right click, then click on the descriptive statistics section and time spent in minutes when shopping. That's a very descriptive sentence. So the time spent in minutes. So the average time spent in minutes when shopping is a hundred minutes for both male and female. You can see the median is 84, standard deviation 79.251, range to 30, minimum 15, minimum number of minutes, and the maximum number of minutes is 245. Again, let's run the descriptive statistics for distance. We can see distance traveled in miles when shopping. We have 
10 observations 10 n is equals to valid 10 we have a mean of 2.05 distance so 2.05 the average male or female walked for 2.05 miles when shopping the median is 1.8850 the standard deviation is 1.426 the range 4.66 the minimum distance is 0.16 miles while the maximum distance is 4.82 miles. So that's how you perform descriptive statistics in SPSS. Thank you for watching this video. And remember to like and subscribe to get more videos like this in the future. Thank you.